make Character Creator 3 and iClone 7 work for you better in Blender? Oh yeah! Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D and in this video I show you an add-on developed by Soup Day that gets characters from Character Creator 3, iClone 7, bring it into Blender, creates the materials, creates the physics, creates the lighting, yummy, 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 all for free. Just uh, why you're here as well, can you just hit that like button? Just helps me out. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. So once again, to reiterate, this add-on is for free for now. Now we're going to start off with Character Creator 3 because we actually have to export it differently to my workflow. So now we actually need to go File, Export, FBX, that's normal. Blender, I just want the mesh. Embedded textures is what we need to have enabled. That's pretty important. A pose as well. Let's just go export, save our character, save, yeah, yeah. And now let's jump over to GitHub, link in the description, and here we are. So this is the tool that we need to download. This is created by Super Day, you little ripper. <laughs> Boy. From here, we press the green button to code and download that zip. Now over into Blender, let's delete that default cube as always. And now let's enable the add-on, edit, preferences, install, go to where you downloaded it, double click, make sure we put a tick next to it. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. From here, we press N to bring up the side panel, CC3. Now I'm not gonna import any lighting for now, no physics for now. I just wanna import the character. And the whole point of it is for the materials to already be set up. So let's go import, find our character, import. And there we go, we now have our character. Now two little things that you'll notice have changed. The start frame and end frame is now one and two. Also, this has now been changed to 60 frames a second. So just something to keep in mind. Now if we quickly jump into render settings, we can see what the character looks like, which is looking fine. However, just be aware at this point, a blender might just poop itself. And that is because of these material settings. So if we expand this and we kind of scroll down, you can already see that my computer's like really struggling with all this. It is this adjust parameters section. So in the adjust parameters section, as it moves down slowly, you can change a whole bunch of the material settings. It's still moving down. I haven't touched it for a little bit. Now the way I fix it, this lagginess, just hide the tab. And then like that, Blender seems to run a lot better. Now the other thing we can do is go down to scene tools at the very bottom, and we can add in some scene stuff, like some lighting. So we can go CC3 default, and this pretty much is the lighting setup from Character Go 3. How freaking cool is that? Now I'm just showing you the tip of the iceberg. It's an amazing free add-on for now. Maybe paid later on, I don't know. But if this does become a paid add-on, I will be picking this puppy up. If you haven't already, please hit the like button. Let me know if you've downloaded it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And also let me know if this has helped you in any way.